The high speed of Thunderbolt 3 ports have changed how users connect to devices. These changes have created opportunities for manufacturers like OWC who have pushed out Thunderbolt 3 compatible devices, such as the fantastic Thunderbolt 3 docking station, yet they have taken things a step further with their latest solution, the OWC Thunderbolt 3 Pro Dock. We've been impressed with OWC's Thunderbolt 3 dock, which brought back an array of seriously useful ports to computers no longer carrying anything other than Thunderbolt 3. Although here we have their latest version. Originally produced by Akitio, who were taken over by OWC early in 2019, the OWC Thunderbolt 3 Pro dock is targeted at professional users with heavy production workflows, and includes several features not commonly found on other docks. There's not much to complain about when it comes to the design of the OWC Thunderbolt 3 Pro Dock. It has a traditional brick-like form factor that's typical of most docks, with a matte black brushed all-aluminum chassis which helps with cooling but also does add weight. This is a rather heavy dock, but considering it is not a portable unit, it's designed to live on your desk, weight doesn't seem a huge issue. Four non-slip feet ensure that the unit stays firmly planted on the desktop, while the brushed aluminum raised top portion of the dock features the familiar OWC logo in the middle that glows to illustrate the presence of power and Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. This raised top portion aids cooling by making way for an active fan that's located on one end of the device. Yes, this is one of the few actively cooled Thunderbolt 3 docks on the market, although there's good reason for it considering the huge amounts of data it can process. Talking of data, the Pro Dock features built-in front-facing and easily accessible support for higher bandwidth media including UHS-2 SD cards and CFast 2 cards. CFast 2 connectivity is a particularly rare find among docks like this, making it a solid option for anyone who regularly ingests media in this format. A final USB 3.1 port finishes off the front, while around the back, next to two other standard USB 3.1 ports, we find an eSATA port for professionals who have legacy DAS devices, along with another rarity for Thunderbolt 3 docks, 10 gigabit Ethernet. Yes, full 10 gigabit Ethernet connectivity. This may not mean much for home users on wireless connections, but for professionals or where bandwidth connectivity allows, not only can users ingest footage from the front ports nice and quick, they can now share it with others in their network super fast too. On the opposite side we find two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one of which will connect to your computer and the second for daisy chaining, along with a display port and the unit's main power input, which features a locking design, ensuring the connector locks into place without fear of it coming loose mid-use, which could ordinarily result in losing important data. Talking of power, if the weight of the dock itself wasn't enough to phase you, then know that it's also weighed down somewhat by its massive 150 watt power brick that's nearly as large as the dock itself. Many docks now come with a large external power supply, so this shouldn't put you off the unit at all, but bear the size in mind, you'll need some space behind your desk to store this thing. With all those super fast ports and data whizzing through them, naturally the unit will generate heat, and the solution with this unit is an active cooling fan which blows warm air through the gaps between the dock and its top plate, so you will need to expect some noise from the unit. A slight hum at least, which isn't too loud, but certainly noticeable enough to some working with audio workflows for instance, who may find it annoying. A switch on the rear beside a locking port can be used to switch the fan off though, but the advice from OWC is not to switch the fan off for more than 30 minutes at a time, to prevent the chances of overheating. Although it's still a good option to have for those who do voiceovers or any other activity that demands a silent environment. The fan isn't the only compromise that comes with the CFast port and the 10 gigabit ethernet though. The unit incorporates a DisplayPort 1.2, not 1.4. There's no USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, no HDMI port, and only 60 watts of power delivery. So those using a 15 or 16 inch MacBook will still want to keep separate external power attached during heavier workflows. Although saying that, I can't think of another Thunderbolt 3 dock that comes with 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity in addition to lots of other I.O. For those who need that faster ethernet connectivity, this dock is one of the few options available on the market today. The OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock is mostly aimed at creative professionals working with large data, think 4K video and raw photos. It brings two notable iMac Pro features, 
a UHS-2 SD card reader and 10 gigabit Ethernet, and makes them available on the MacBook Pro and other computers that support Thunderbolt 3. So after ingesting footage from your CFast or SD card, its 10 gigabit Ethernet connectivity means that you can quickly transfer large files over a long range, which is great when offloading footage to a server or even when performing real-time edits of footage stored on that server. If that doesn't describe your daily workflow, you may be better served by OWC's more consumer-orientated Thunderbolt 3 dock. But if it does fit your workflow, the Pro dock should be a real asset to your MacBook Pro. Thank you.